So remember, we stopped here in the last video. We were speaking about the relationship between a change in income and the change in quantity demanded. And we said that we can have both types of change. We could have a negative change in demand and a positive change in demand. So let's see how that works out through an example. For instance, what if we have an elasticity of, of income equal to 0 0.4? What does that mean? That means if our income increases by 1%, the quantity demanded for a certain good will go up by 0.4%. And that kind of makes sense. We have more money to spend, so we can afford more of that good. And that's what we call a normal good. So normal good. And a normal good, based on this definition, is basically the type of good that increases in demand with income. So if we have more money to spend, we would also buy more of that specific good. So demand increases with income here. Demand increases with income. Now let's look at a different case. What if the elasticity of income is equal to, what if the elasticity of income is equal to minus 0.9? Well, that would mean that if income increases by 1%, quantity demanded for that good would decrease by 0.9%. Well, why would quantity demanded decrease if we have more money to spend? Because in that case, we would choose a different product. We are just using that specific product because we have to, because our budget doesn't allow us to buy something more expensive. Let's think of food. Maybe we're speaking about, I don't know, bread, something really cheap, and we do it just because we really, really have to save the money on food. So we eat bread because we have to, not because we specifically want to. But when our income goes up, when we have more money to spend, then maybe we switch to, uh, let's say, uh, more vegetables. Vegetables are more expensive. So in that case, we are going to buy those vegetables because we afford to, and we're going to decrease the demand for bread. In this case, we're speaking about inferior goods. So inferior good, where demand decreases with income because we switch to some better alternatives. Demand decreases with income. And that's it. Hope this makes sense. We are done.